I recently graduated with a mechanical engineering degree from the University of Waterloo in Canada and I was looking back at how much money I've spent over the last five years to get this piece of paper and engineering ring. So I decided to share it with you. In this video, I'll go through everything like how much my tuition was, living expenses, transportation expenses, textbooks, etc. to hopefully provide you with an accurate number of how much money you can expect to pay for an engineering degree. I'll break this video down by looking at how much money I spent for each semester. My school had 8 semesters, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, 4A, and 4B. And if you're unfamiliar with the semester naming system, 1A just means the first half of first year, and 1B just means the second half of first year, etc. Anyways, you'll find time stats for everything in the description. Let's get started. My engineering journey began in 1A, aka my first semester in the fall of 2016. This semester was 4 months long from September to December 2016, and for that time frame, my undergraduate full-time tuition was $7,040. But because my university helps us find internships and co-ops, they charged me a co-op fee of $676 for that term. At my university, there are also two student councils. The first student council is called FEDS and is in charge of hosting events for the entire university and I had to pay $328 to fund them for that term. The second student council was called ENGSOC and is in charge of hosting events for the entire engineering community at the university and I had to pay them a total of $105 to fund them for all their events. Now see the funny thing is I never went to any of those events so that amount of money was just a complete waste of my money. Back then these fees were mandatory and you couldn't get out of paying them but I think they've changed the rules since then so you can actually opt out of paying these fees if you don't plan on going to any of these events. Also when you start university the first week is called Frost Week where the university hosts outdoor games, educational skits, cheesy dance routines, concerts, and dry parties and to participate every student has to pay $105 and there's no way of getting out of that even if you don't want to go to these events or don't want to attend Frost Week you still have to pay the $105. On top of all that I have to pay $162 for student services. I'm not exactly sure what student services are but I think it's like the health and dental insurance that I get from the university. Moving on, in the fall of 2016, I lived on campus and I had to pay a total of $3,779 for the four months that I lived there. On campus housing isn't the greatest and it was really overpriced, but it allowed me to meet a lot of my friends that I have today, so I think it was worth it. Also, my university was about an hour away from home and where my parents lived, and I would usually go home and visit them every weekend, and the bus ride there would cost $15, and the bus ride back would cost another $15, that's about $30 a weekend that I would pay to go home and come back. And I would go for 12 weeks out of the 16 weeks, so 12 times $30 is about $360 per term that I would spend on transportation expenses. Also, back then I didn't cook much and I would eat out a lot. I'd have like two meals a day and each meal would cost me like $10, so that's about $20 a day times five days a week, that's $100 a week. So for the entire term, that's about $1,500 worth of food. I also didn't include the food on the weekends since I would go home on the weekends and obviously when I'm home, like my parents don't charge me for the food. So uh, I get to save a little bit of money there when it comes to food. Also in my first year, I spent a lot of time studying because I was so scared of failing. So I never really went out to parties or anything like that. So that saved me quite a bit of money. In one day, I also made the mistake of buying all my textbooks brand new, which is dumb and I didn't know any better. Uh, but I had five courses that term and each textbook for each course cost me about $100. So that term I spent about $500 on just textbooks. Finally, school supplies and a bunch of other miscellaneous necessities like toilet paper, water, etc. That cost me about $200 for the entire term. So adding everything up, my 1A term, which was four months long, cost me $14,755. I hope you're enjoying this. Let's keep going. My 1B term was from January to April 2017. My tuition for that term was $7,040. I had to pay a co-op fee of $676. Again, since my university provides us with a website called World of Works where we can apply for internships. I also have to pay again $328 for my university student council and $105 for my engineering student council. And again, both of them were a complete waste of money since I didn't go to any of their events. Moving on, I paid $162 for health and dental insurance. I was also living on campus for that term and that cost me $2,519 for the four months that I was there for. And surprisingly, it was about $1,000 cheaper than the previous four months in 1A. I'm not sure why, I was literally living in the exact same room, but I don't know, I'm not complaining. I also spent $360 for transportation fees that would take me home to visit my family and siblings on the weekends. In 1B, I started to get a little smarter with how much money I would spend on food. So instead of eating out every day, my mom would make food for me on the weekends that I would bring back with me to campus. Obviously, my mom didn't charge me for that food, so I was really able to reduce my spending to about $1,250 instead of the $1,500 that I was spending in 1A. Also for textbooks, I was a lot smarter this term and I didn't buy any textbooks brand new and I was able to find most of them online for free. 
So my textbook spending for that term was zero dollars. Finally, school supplies and a bunch of other necessities, like again, water and toilet paper, cost me about $200 for the entire term. So adding everything up, my 1B term, which is only 4 months long, cost me $12,640. Moving on to my second year, my undergraduate tuition for fall 2017 from September to December 2017 was $7,392. I also had to pay a co-op fee of $709. You'll notice the tuition and co-op fee for my second year were quite a bit higher than the tuition and co-op fee in my first year. In my first year, if you recall, I was paying $7,040 for tuition and $676 for my co-op fee. And every year, they just keep increasing that price and there's really nothing I can do about it other than just apply to scholarships. The fees I had to pay for my student council were about $440 which were again an absolute waste of money since I was too busy drowning in homework to go to any of their events. My health and dental services were about $162. In this term, I was living off campus at an apartment complex called Fergus House. It cost me $850 per month. So for the entire term, that would be $3,400 just for shelter. I had three roommates, but I had my own washroom, which was nice. The place also had a small gym, a game room, and a nice conference room where I'd usually go there and study with my friends. That term, I would also go back home every other week instead of every weekend. So that brought my transportation expenses down to about $180 for the entire term. I started to make more friends and I was more social, so I didn't go home as often. I also spent $1,200 that term on food and other miscellaneous necessities like water and toilet paper. School supplies for that term were about $100 for the four months, not as high as before because I was reusing a lot of the school supplies that I had in first year. So adding everything up, my two-way term, which was only four months long, cost me $13,583. My next school term was my 2B term, which was from May to August 2018. My university decided to, again, bump up their tuition and co-op fees to $7,761 and $729 because why not? It's not like us students can like negotiate that. My student council fees were about $440, which was a waste of money, but at least they didn't raise their fees like tuition and the co-op fee. My health and dental insurance was $169 for that term, which was a $7 increase than the $162 I was paying in my previous terms. I'm guessing the increase was because of inflation. I don't know. In this term, I was living in the same place that I lived in in my last term, which again, cost me $3,400 for the entire four months. I also started working out and hitting the gym that term, so I made good use out of the gym that was in my building. I also spent about $180 this term going back home on certain weekends, so that kind of falls under my transportation expenses. During this term was when I started cooking my own food just to be a little healthier and save some money on food. I realized if I could grocery shop, I could cook my own meals using simple recipes I found online, then each meal would cost me like three to five dollars instead of the 10 to $15 I was paying if I were to eat out. So adding all that up, I was able to bring my food and grocery expenses down to $250 per month or $1,000 for the entire four months of that term. School supplies cost me about $100 for the four months. Again, mainly because I was reusing a lot of the supplies from the previous terms, so I didn't have to pay that much for my school supplies for the entire four months. So adding everything up, my 2B term cost me $13,779. Moving on to 3A, which was from January to April 2019, we are now officially halfway through my engineering degree. I have finished two years and I have two more years to go. And honestly, I was surprised I've made it this far. Anyways, tuition was about $7,761 and my co-op fee was $729. Surprisingly, they didn't increase it this term. Student council fees were $450 and my health and dental insurance was about $169, all that for the entire four months. I started living a little frugally that term and instead of living in the luxury apartment that I used to live at in my second year, I decided to live in a house that was about a 10 minute bus ride away from campus. Since I was a student, riding the bus locally was free, so I decided to take advantage of that. Anyways, living in the house with three other roommates cost me about $550 per month or $2,200 for the entire four months, which is about $1,200 cheaper than the luxury apartment I was living in before. During third year, I wouldn't go back home as often, so my transportation expenses went down to about $150, and the reason I didn't go home as often just because there was just more schoolwork that I had to do on the weekends that I didn't have time to go back home. I also made sure to buy groceries and cook that term to keep my groceries and food expenses down to $1,000 for the four months. I also had a gym membership that term that cost me $40 a month, and I joined a jiu-jitsu gym that term that cost me about $100 a month, so after taxes, my athletics cost me $600 for the entire term. Finally, school supplies cost me $100 dollars for the four months. So finally adding everything up, my 3A term cost me $13,159. Next up we have my 3B term which was from September to December 2019. Tuition was $6,985. I was honestly surprised that they reduced that term compared to how high it was the last term. 
My co-op fee was $729, student council fees were $358, health and dental insurance was $230 that term. I also bust around a lot locally that term, and my bus pass cost me about $100 for the entire term. This term, I tried to live a little more frugally at a house that was about a 15 minute bus ride away from campus, and it cost me about $350 a month to live there. It was a nice place for the price, it was just a basement that I lived in with my brother, and adding all that up, it cost me $1,400 for the entire term. And paying so little for rent and being so frugal kind of gives me this good feeling. I can't really explain it, but it kind of feels good to be frugal. That term, I would only go back home like once a month, which means my transportation expenses were brought down to like $80 for that term. My 3B mechanical engineering term was by far the hardest term, so saying I was extremely stressed would be an understatement. I was so stressed and busy with schoolwork that I didn't really have much time to cook or go grocery shopping, so I would eat out a lot, which shot up my food expenses for that term to about $2,000 for the four months. Finally, school supplies would cost me about $100 for the four months. So adding everything up, my 3B term cost me $11,982. So although I was spending more money on food, it was by far my cheapest term just because how frugal I was in terms of how much money I was paying per month for rent. Moving on to my 4A term, which was from September to December 2020, tuition was $6,985. My co-op fee was $734. Student council fees were $200. It was a lot lower this term because my university finally gave me the option of opting out of fees that I don't think I'll need. So I opted out of everything I could which saved me like $200 which is honestly nothing compared to how much I was paying in tuition but hey it's better than nothing I guess and health and dental insurance were $230 this term was also during the COVID-19 pandemic and all my classes were online. So because of that, I just lived at home and didn't pay any money for rent. Also because I lived at home, I just ate my parents' food so I didn't spend any money on groceries or buying food. School supplies cost me around $50 that term and it was obviously a lot less because everything was online. So adding everything up, my 4A term cost me a whopping low price of $8,199. So although online school was a joke and it didn't feel like real school, I still saved $4,000 on food and rent which was I think I'll win. Finally, we have my 4B term, which was from January to April 2021. Tuition was $6,985, my co-op fee was $734, student council fees were $200, and health and dental insurance was $230. And again, because this term was entirely virtual, I spent no money on rent and food since I lived at home. I also bought a used iPad with an Apple Pencil that term to take notes instead of using a traditional notebook, which cost me about $300. I honestly didn't need to buy the iPad, but I was saving so much money on food and rent that I was just curious to see what the iPad note taking experience was like so I decided to buy one. So adding everything up my total cost for my 4B term comes down to $8,449. Now adding up how much each term cost me we get a total of $96,546 and wow that is a lot of money I did not expect it to be that high. But we're not done yet because there were a few things that I bought and used for school that I didn't include yet. First, we have my 2015 15-inch MacBook Pro that cost me $2,500, but my screen cracked in third year and that cost me $600 to replace, my backpack cost me $100, my AirPods cost me around $300, all those stuff was things that I needed for school. There was also one textbook that I had to buy in my third year that cost me $150. The reason I had to buy it was because my professor required us to bring it with us to the exam and so I couldn't bring like the online PDF version to the exam, so we had to buy the textbook. Adding up those extra costs, my mechanical engineering degree comes down to a total cost of $100,196. Damn, I didn't really think I would hit six figures to be honest, but wow. Anyways, I hope this video brought you value and gave you a better idea of how much money you can expect to pay to get an engineering degree. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!